Hey YouTube, how's everybody? How was the holidays? Um, got a long day of videos to do, but first video I wanted to do today, um, I got asked the question, what's in your dock or what's on your dock? And um, I'm not sure it's gonna be that interesting guys, but you know, I'll answer what you guys want and I'll show you what's in my dock. It should be a pretty quick video, so uh, here we go. All right, so starting from the, what is this, left side of my dock, of course I have the finder. Um, I have my calendar which I use for everything. Their uh, OS line has this launch pad thing which you know you can launch your apps. I never ever ever use. Uh, mission control I guess I use. I used to use it as widgets and spaces um, but I never actually use them from the docs. I could actually just get rid of them there but I just left them there. The app store of course is where you get apps from iOS Lion or from OS 10 Lion. Never really use it. I mean, I guess I bought a couple apps and um, I don't buy too many of the apps on there. Next is my email. Obviously, I use it. I, I love the Mac email program. Um, I can link more than one account to it and all that stuff. Um, Safari, it's just a web browser. I used to use it. Now I use Chrome as much, so it's right next to it. Um, iChat, I use it all the time um, to talk to people. FaceTime, I, you know, I hardly ever use, hardly ever. My address book with all my contacts, and so I have basically the way I've set up my, my dock is the first part is kind of like, you know, the basic Mac stuff, um, and then we start getting into my Adobe products, which is what I really, really use. So I have Photoshop CS5, I have Illustrator CS5, I have After Effects CS5, InDesign from CS5, Bridge, Lightroom 3, and Premiere Pro CS5, uh, as well as Acrobat Pro. Um, I got this as a package, like a master collection, or I uh, can't remember which collection I got, but um, it's what I do for work, so I own all those. Um, Corel Painter, I actually, this is just a trial because I needed to see how it worked. And um, I don't do enough painting on it to actually warrant buying it, but I gave it a try. And uh, yeah, there, there's some really cool brush stroke textures and stuff. Like if you're actually painting, I would recommend Corel Painter over, well, actually, I don't know if you can do Corel Painter without having Photoshop, because you're always gonna need, need to be tweaking. Next is preview. You know, everybody needs preview. I preview everything on preview. Um, any picture, like let's say you have a picture, I just hit the spacebar and it opens up in preview. Hit the spacebar, close it back down. It's a really quick way to preview stuff. Um, iTunes, I use for mu music. Actually, I've been using Spotify a lot lately, so iTunes has kind of been on the back burner, but I still have to sync my iPad and iPod or an iPhone to it, so it's still there. Spotify to listen to music. Um, I used to play poker online a lot, so this is my poker software, but Ever since the uh, US ban on poker, online poker, all of these sites are pretty much dead, but I just haven't cleaned up my dock. Um, poker Stars, Full Tilt, Carbon, and this is Poker Tracker that kept, it kept my statistics over the long course of time. And Backup is a little uh, app that I have on my iPhone where I can keep like passwords and stuff, and it backs up to my computer so that if I ever lose my phone or whatever, I can still have my passwords on my computer. Um, iPhoto, I hardly ever use anymore just because I use Lightroom all the time, um, but it's still there. iWeb, I think I did one website one time and that was it. <laughs> not much of a web guy, actually, uh, or at least not a website guy. iMovie, um, I never used. Um, I think I did a trailer once because it had, you know, the new iMovie had like a built-in trailer thing, so I did like a, I think I did a wedding trailer. But um, I tend to use Premiere or even now um, ScreenFlow to edit things. Uh, text edit, whenever I need to write something really quick, I use it all the time. Photo booth, actually I'm going to get rid of photo booth because I never, I don't think I've used it once. Um, okay, so we'll get rid of that. Um, let's see, next, ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is what I've been getting into lately. Editing most of my stuff on ScreenFlow is kind of easy. I use ScreenFlow and After Effects as well as, I hardly ever use Premiere. I use After Effects a lot more just because 
I can do a lot more with the images and stuff. So um, QuickTime, of course, I have the two QuickTimes. I have the regular QuickTime that comes with OS Lion. And I have the older QuickTime 7, but it's a pro edition. So I use it sometimes when I need to convert stuff or when I need to trim stuff or just like really quick stuff. I use it all the time. Uh, VLC is a media player, so it, play, it, it, it has all the codecs kind of built in, so you can play AVIs and MKVs and all kinds of different files, and I use it more than QuickTime itself. Um, all2 MP3 is a... All2 MP3, um, it's right here, it basically converts any media or any sound file, like AIF, WAV, uh, anything you have to an MP3 file in case you need it. I think I used it once for something and um, it worked fine, you know. Um, next, I have Handbrake. Handbrake is a, uh, how would you call this, like media converter. So, like if, if I bought a DVD and I wanted to, because I keep everything digital, I hardly ever use discs anymore. Everything is kind of digital. So it'll take a DVD and I'll convert it to a digital file, whether it be an uh, MPEG or, not MPEG, uh, M4V file or MP4 file um, so that I can save it. I basically, the next software, which is Plex, is a media system. So basically, I have on a hard drive, I have all my movies and all um, converted to a digital file and it, I can stream it across all my computers or even like I have a, a Mac mini connected to my TV and so I can stream it from here from my main computer. Actually the hard drive is set just to the network and I can just stream it from there straight to um, my TV, so I can just watch them on my TV. I no longer use discs or anything like that. Um, I just got, it got too too complicated. There was too many movies. I was a movie addict, so. Preen is just, it, it works with Plex to, to do different um, looks for it. Toast, well, everybody knows Toast. It's just to burn software, or not software, to burn discs, to burn anything onto a disc. Met Keeper. Met Keeper is it's supposed to clean like caches and stuff like that. I use it every once in a while, really, really rare. I should use it probably more often. VMware Fusion. Now I put this on my Mac so that I can um, run Windows applications. And the main reason I did that is because there was some poker sites that were only PC based. So I had to be able to get on a PC with VM Future, I can open up a window that's a PC window and log on to PC only poker sites. It's basically what I used it for. Name Changer is a quick little software that basically if you have a hundred files in the list, you know, and you want to change all the names at once, it, you know, you can do that. Um, I do that sometimes with my photographs, like this image of the Grand Canyon, it comes from one of like, you know, whatever, a thousand images of the Grand Canyon, and I wanted to name them all differently or or something where you know say Grand Canyon 2011 001 002 003 so it does sequences like that and it, it, it makes life pretty easy um, MacPar Deluxe that is a like unroaring software so sometimes when you download files even like zip files it's a different type of unarchiving software. Like the Mac comes with its own, but this is just a different one. I, I find it has more pro uh, more power and less problems. This is just my printer, uh, printer slash scanner. That's why it's on my dock. If it was just a printer, I wouldn't have it on my dock. It would just hit print. But since it's a scanner, I open it up and I can scan things in. Uh, the next one, EOS Utility. That actually does not work anymore now that I have Lion. I used to be able to connect my camera to it and you know either download the pictures directly or even change the settings on my computer while the camera is hooked up to say a tripod or something. But it's not working online so I'm kind of waiting for an update on that. This is my Twitter app, basic Twitter app. Majestic Media Server. This is actually very specific because I can't use Plex on my Xbox 360 and one of my TVs has my Xbox 360 hooked up to it. So what I do is I use Majestic Media Server and point it to the folder 
where all my media is, and then I can stream it to my Xbox 360, which in turn streams it to my TV. Uh, stickies is basically what it is. It's just sticky notes. You know, you can put them wherever you want. You can leave them up. You can take them down. Do as many as you want. That's real simple. Um, I have a folder with my documents in it. Um, it's probably got a ton of documents in it. Uh, I have a folder for my downloads. It has a couple of downloads in it. And then my trash can. And that's it. That's all I have on my dock. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> I should actually go back and clean it up. But, you know, for those of you who are interested, that's my dock. Thank you very much, and uh, keep on watching.